you guys ever been driving on a freeway doing maybe 80, 85 miles per hour, going somewhere super quickly, but then you see a cop underneath one of the freeway overpasses, so you kind of pull it back to like 70, maybe 65 until you pass the cop. And after you pass the cop, you go, man, I'm going so much slower now. I was doing 85, now I'm doing 65. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm like a snail pretty much. But here's the reality. You're not really, you're now doing 70, 70 miles per hour, 65 miles per hour. That's where you should be. So it feels like you're going slower, but you're actually doing the exact same rate that you should be. You're at where you should be on the freeway. 70, 65 miles per hour for the most part. So what's the reason that I'm telling you this? Uh, just bored, just telling you a story. Ha ha, very funny, my the reason I'm telling you the story is because that's probably one of the best examples to really understand the kind of market uh, real estate climate that we're in right now. I'm still hearing a lot of people, even though all the way back from the fourth quarter of 2018 all the way until now, people still tell me that they see online, on social media, on all these uh, posts online, maybe newspapers, places that they follow online, that there's a recession coming because of real estate. There's something coming because of the housing market. There's gonna be a crash due to real estate. And that's just not true. The reason for my story at the beginning is the last couple of years, everything was going so perfectly. Everything was swimming, going, moving along swimmingly. Homes were selling, buyers were getting all their, uh, their loans. So everything was moving really quickly. That's back then when we were doing 85 miles per hour. But now everything is normalizing 70, 65 miles per hour. It's really where we should be right now. It's normalizing, but there's a lot of blogs out there that like to post things just to get more business, just to get people to click on them. And uh, the reality of it is we were doing really good. We were doing fantastic the past couple of years, back when we were doing 85 miles per hour, 90 miles per hour, but now we're kind of taking it back to 65 miles per hour. And because of that, people think that homes are depreciating, homes are losing value, that uh, we're heading towards somewhere terrible like a recession or like a like a crash that we had 10, 11 years ago. And that's just not true. It's one of the easiest examples of how I can tell people where we are right now. And a lot of people, they seem to understand it because it's, I mean, who hasn't done 85 miles per hour? Not that I have, I've, I've never speed. But for the people that, you know, you're doing 85 miles per hour on the, on the highway, then you tone it back to 65, it feels like you're going slower, but you're not, you're where you should be. A quick fun fact is every year and annually, home should appreciate 3.6% annual appreciation. So right now, none of the major people that study US residential real estate, none of them predict that their projections, there's not gonna be any sort of depreciation. It's just normal appreciation. It's not as quick as it was before, but it's not decreasing either. We're not in the red, pretty much. And that's our job as realtors to always control the narrative and help people understand what's going on in, in, real, in real estate, what's going on in our marketplace, not just in the micro level, like in neighborhoods and cities, but also in the macro, like in the nation, in our entire country. So really quick video. I hope to see you guys again. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Stay safe.